Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Linnea Gehrig and today I've got a great collection here to show you. This is Textures by Lou Collins. This is Art Deco and they're two geometric panel die set. And also from Hunky Dory, we've got this Miri card collection. This is Damask and there's 30 sheets in this with three different designs. I can't wait to show you the cards I came up with. So come back and play with us. So let's start by taking a look at this Miri card, or we call, in America call it card stock. It's got this beautiful shiny finish on it. And as you can see, they're, they're quite dark, but they're sort of got a beautiful holographic finish on it. They're gorgeous. Um, this one's a nice black background with burgundies and golds and blue. It's just beautiful. And then we've got this one with gold and burgundy. And then this one has got beautiful shades of blue, some black, and some beautiful green. And then our die set, this is our Art Deco geometric panel die set. Very, yes, very Art Deco. Two different panels. And let me measure these for you. I did not do that. Oh, I'm searching for my ruler. Okay, so. These are approximately two and a half inches by, oh, about seven and a quarter inches. So of course they're gonna fit through any die cutting machine without a problem. So let's get on to this first card. This is a slim line card that I made and I actually used this die cut directly from this really beautiful gold and burgundy paper. If you can see that beautiful pattern on there. And I wanted to show you, this is what it looks like when you cut it out of white cardstock. So I covered my card. This is a slim line, as I mentioned, and it is a three and a half by eight and a half inch card. Covered that with some burgundy cardstock. Then cut a little bit of this beautiful mocha suede paper. If you're not familiar with suede, it's like fabric. It's definite texture. It's very fabric like suede, backed with paper. It die cuts beautifully. And here I just used it as a little rectangle, as a mat for this beautiful piece here. Added a little brown ribbon there, but it's this beautiful glimmer ribbon. So it's kind of goes with that mocha suede. And then added, there's not a lot of room here for greetings. I didn't want to cover up any of the beautiful background. So I used eight tiny words and phrases greeting in gold right there. And they come in this beautiful collection here. And of course you can find all of these items below the video. If you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page, just look below and you can see all the items that you can add to your cart. All right, so let's take a look. This one, oops, this gorgeous die. This is a six and a half by five inch card, of course using this beautiful, beautiful Miri card. And then I cut this out of a white piece of um, cardstock. And then I wanted to show you, you can just glue it directly over this and then trim it, okay? It still works great. Added a little cluster of flowers. These are rustic blooms in a blue jay color. There's two different shades there, lots of leaves. Put in a little collection there and then add it at the top and the bottom. Um, one of these little rainbow flat back pearls and there's just a really nice shade of sort of a um, well, it's a sort of blue-green color there. Just glued that right there. And in the corner here, added a little greeting in white because I really wanted that to pop. And this is We're Together Dazzle Stickers. And it comes in all these shades. And of course, I used the white one there for my friend. Right. And then for my last card, I wanted to demonstrate using this particular gorgeous, oh, I love this damask. Um, let's see, I've already started here with a five by, five by six and a half inch card. And what I'm going to do is make a gatefold card. So I'm going to open that up. And if you can see here, I've scored this on both sides. So this is five inches wide each panel. So I scored it at the two and a half inch mark right here, okay? And I forgot to grab it, but the adorable scoreable um, mini scoreboard is perfect for this. The mini, adorable mini, anyway, the scoreboard. 
um, from Hunky Dory is great. And so I scored both sides of that at the two and a half inch mark. So I'm just gonna fold this to the center, just like that, all right? And that's how I've got my gatefold. So started this card right here, okay? And I glued a panel, so I just cut a panel of this um, damask paper, cardstock rather, to the same size as the panel on the front here. So it can just be glued right there. Take my Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. And then I'm gonna glue this to align with this panel. There we go. And then this we can't see very well on the black background, but this is what this die looks like cut from black cardstock. And as you can see, just on a white card, it would just be gorgeous. So what we're gonna do here is put this right on this side. And I wanted to talk about how you glue such a finely detailed die. So yes, you could put dots of glue on this and then place that down. But I like to use sticky specs right here and if you've never used them before they're just wonderful if you're really into using cutting dies so what we're going to do is you open this up and you're going to place it right there cover it up with the sheet and what we're doing is we're making a sticker out of it because the back of the sheet has just like thousands and thousands maybe millions of little micro adhesive dots Pull this up, and now this has become a sticker. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to align so that these are even. We want these spaces here to be even. Well, maybe I've got it upside down. Yes, that's better. I guess there is a top and a bottom. And we want to make sure that I'm matching this side to this side. What's great about this is that if you make a mistake, oh dear, my little panel got slipped. There we go. If you make a mistake, you could just lift this stuff up because it, it does have sort of a drying time. There we go. There we go, my goodness. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim the excess from the top and the bottom. There we go. So now we've got our gatefold panel there. Okay, and now I'm going to take some more of this beautiful paper, this or beautiful cardstock. This one is that gold with the burgundy on it. And I'm gonna use oval cutting dies somewhere buried on my desk. There we go using one of these right here, use this shape, and also added the Thinking of You in black. There we go. And this is from the Card Inside and Outside Greeting Dazzle stickers. And I put a little bit of foam tape on the back of that because I want it to put it right there, but I only want to stick it to one side like that. Now I've got some more flowers here. These are <laughs> rustic blooms and cranberry. And I've also got a little black bow here from our black ribbon set. So let's add some flowers. I want to put them on this side of the card. A little bit of a cluster like that. Use the same glue, great. And I just wanna hold it down for just a second just so it kinda grabs. This is pretty fast drying glue and it takes hold pretty quickly. Go. Take some of my leaves here.
So while I'm doing this, I'll remind you that we do three to five of these videos a week. So it's great to subscribe. And if you're watching us on YouTube, consider giving us a thumbs up if you like this video because it really helps people find our channel. And it was much appreciated. There we go. Now we've got our little bow, which we can just attach right over here. I like to use the same glue. It takes a little bit to dry when you're doing ribbon, but within three to five minutes, that'll be stuck. All right, so there we have it. And you guys, really easy to put together, and you know, that Miri card is just gorgeous, and the dies are so versatile and beautiful. So wanted to give you a heads up that we have a money saver on the right hand side of our screen. So definitely check that out. And if you're watching us on YouTube, then you want to check that out um, in the description box below the video. There's a link and it'll take you to our Paper Wishes webisode page where you'll see the money saver. You'll also see the products used under the video. And we also have full color video <laughs> full color um, photos of all the cards and the products that we used to make them so thanks for joining me today and i will see you next time